Oh, who's got here? Just come for the show. Uh, and then you leave. I do notice that. I leave when you go. I, I do notice that. Oh, right. I'm the talent. So, yeah, sure you are. So so we've gone from the great white yeah. to, to the black jag yeah. to now the dirty bird. Let's oh. welcome back to the program, Tim Means. Tim, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Not too bad. We appreciate your time. Uh, approaching your 50th pro fight, uh, how has the whole process of training uh, fight week, all of that changed over that period. Um, got smarter with diet, and nutrition, and you know, taking hard sparring out, a lot of hard sparring out every day, and you know, mix that stuff up. So I think I'm almost at 50 fights in MMA, but I have a little over 50 fights with boxing and Muay Thai and everything pro fights. So it's uh, gotten better as we gone along a lot lot better training partners and, and people understand how to train now is the the love the feeling for the sport the same you know now as it was then and, and the reason i asked that a, a friend of mine i uh, played for the box and then he was uh in the ultimate fighter uh, around ufc 100 marcus jones and he always told me that he didn't like football he was just good at it and that was his profession and but he wasn't really in love with it uh, do you love the sport as much as as you did at the very beginning? Uh, I do. I, I enjoy the competition part. If if I didn't, I wouldn't be here. I could find other ways to get a paycheck, the easier ways to get a paycheck. <laughs> um, but yeah, the competition. There's nothing like fight week. Nothing like the build up, um, blood, sweat, and tears, all that good stuff. So um, I, I wouldn't be here if if, if if there wasn't good energy and and, and still a drive to want to compete. Do you try to, when, when it's fight week and now you've had so many of them, do you try to like stay consistent? It's always, you know, media stuff on Wednesday, relax or rest a little training maybe on Thursday, or, or do you mix it up or do you try to not think about the fun that's coming on Saturday or, or do you try to, to kind of center on it? Um, I, I pay attention to the, how many hard intensity practices we have back to back. I pay attention to those things. I, I eat based on, uh, how hard a practice will be, not based on calories or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just taking everything in one, one step at a time. It's this fight week. I got asked this question earlier. This fight week is the exact same as if, you know, I'm walking through the, the, the UFC doors or walking into the gym for the very first time. I still have, I still have that excitement and, uh, that I want to be here mentality. Um, it, it's an exciting week and, and Alex Morona is a, uh, uh, an exciting fighter, a violent fighter. So these are the fights you chase after. I, I know we've had you on before, and we've talked about all all types of things. Are, are you a guy that that wants to or needs to dislike your opponent? Are you a guy that it doesn't matter? It's just competition, or or how does that fall in for you? Um, you know, when I was younger, you found reasons to not like the guy standing across from you, and you know, I, I've been with this company for such a long time that I've gotten to know people pretty good you know on, on, on a social level so right now you just put in your mind that you know Alex is, is, is a good guy nice guy um but you make more money when when you win fights and uh it feels better when you're getting your hand raised and it, it feels better when all that training comes to fruition and 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 just sitting on the winning side of that of those railroad tracks it doesn't always happen you know you put you put your all in and leave it all in the cage or leave it all in the octagon. If, if it happens, it happens. But um, it, it's better to get your hand raised. But when you look yourself in the mirror, you've left it all in the octagon. You have you have no complaints for yourself. So, so Tim, I mean, obviously we were talking about the fight ahead of us, and, and we're not looking past that. But looking back, November 21st, 2020, you beat a Mike Perry, who is now a rising star in bare knuckle. Have you ever like looked at it and like, thought after the MMA career is over, yeah, maybe would you do something like that or, or entertain an idea like that? You know, man, I'm a fighter at the end of the day. You know, money talks and, you know, the excitement's there and, and my body's still allowing me to to cut weight and put in the hard training camps and, and, and run with these young guys. It's absolutely a possibility. I, I've been doing this my whole life, so, you know, fighting fighting is, is, is pretty normal for me anymore, but... 